fall in place. Information. Yeah, it'll all fall in place. Um, this is cool. A bunch of nurses here in the valley to our future patients. Stay educated about water. Um, there's a group here, and they. I'm just kidding. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm Yvonne Lafue. Hello. We 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 had this water idea and we wanted to do it. So, um, what a great thing! We come out here and we get a model. So <laughs> this is good to help people because um, when I came to Arizona in 1989, I wasn't e educated about the importance of staying hydrated in in our valley. Yeah. Because and a lot of people they just. Um, they just don't know, and so I appreciate you guys being out here today, letting us know. Well, and it's something. I mean, I've been. A, I was born and raised here. I was. I'm a native, and you. I feel like that's one of the first things that you learn growing up is like drink water, drink water, drink water. And as a kid, and even growing up, I didn't really understand the importance of it. I was like, I don't know why they want me to drink so much water, but I know it's hot, but I'll just stay inside and not drink. Or um, you're now. you're a nurse. It says the nurse can handle. How many people in in Arizona, you know, suffer from um, dehydration in, in because of the heat here. Honestly, I would say more often than not, people are. I mean, even if you're staying inside, if you're not drinking at least eight glasses a day, then you're already behind the ball, and your body's already going to kind of tell you. A lot of people don't understand why they're tired throughout the day. That's a big reason: dehydration, dizziness, headaches. That's all from dehydration. So more often than not, I'm, we're probably all dehydrated at one point throughout the day. So. So important to stay on top of it. Start your day with two full glasses of water, just so you're ahead of the ball, and then you know go from there. And always so eight glasses a day. Yeah, they say two to three liters, uh -huh. um, depending on your body mass, and especially on hot days like this, it's it's good to stay on the top end of that. I heard half drinking half your body weight in ounces. Is that true? I think is that how the math works out? It's that. Yeah, it's based off of your body mass. Obviously, if you're a smaller person, you're not going to want to overload on three liters, but. Um, I would say a minimum of eight glasses a day, especially in Arizona. And so children, the fatigue or falling asleep, um, you know, just, and, and headaches, a lot of it yeah. is probably because of a lack of hydration. Children get dehydrated much faster than we do because they have more of a water mass than we do. So oh, wow. it's so important. And then, you know, children are usually not too thrilled about plain water because they want something that tastes a little bit better or sweet and you know, a little bit more fun to drink, but it's so important that even if they're not drinking actual water, try to get encourage that, but also give them watery foods like watermelon or things that have more of a water-based substance. That's awesome. Okay, watery foods, parents. Parents, <laughs> watery foods. <laughs> give them the watermelon. Yep, watermelon. Yeah. Popsicles too. I mean, there's sugar involved, but at least it is a fluid. If you have a, a child that's not really getting as much as they need to, you can definitely try or make two a whole a whole juice yeah, popsicles definitely an option. that's the yeah that yeah. sounds good um, your do body depends your d body depends on water to survive every cell tissue organ needs water to function properly I'm just reading the sign without the proper amount it suffers Wow and then what does water do you you're awesome what's your name Alex, yeah, you're nice awesome. Thank you. you. I'm Yvonne. Yvonne. It's nice good to meet you. you too. What a wonderful model. What does water do for us? Every everything. Uh -huh. It regulates our body temperature. It removes waste. It um, lubricates our joints. And you know, I notice I'm 54, and if I don't drink my water. Oh, okay. We'll get the bunny for you, Michael. Um, Aww, even bunnies. Every bunnies. cell, <laughs> tissue, and organ needs water to function properly and it's true because uh, um, I, w I can always tell my bones ache when I don't drink my water. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's great. So this is a wonderful model. They're out here. These wonderful uh, Arizonians <laughs> are out here helping people and uh, and there are people coming down. Hi. They're giving out water, and this is, a, this is a group of nurses from... So we're the Student Nurses Association of Arizona. Student Nurses Association of Arizona. Well, 
Props to you guys. This is really wonderful. Thank you so you much. You guys. It was nice meeting you too. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go to another mountain and 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 carry on the good work. Carry on your good work. Yeah, <laughs> commissioned. Hi. Bye bye. bye bye. And so you guys are out here from uh, four 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 thirty. Four thirty. Probably be here till eleven, eleven thirty. Yeah, around eleven. Oh wow, that's a long, that's a good long day. Believe it or not, people show up at 11 ready to hike. And without water? Without no. water. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Woo. People get air backed off the mountains all the time here. Well, you're saving money. You're, uh, yeah. Money and resources. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>